Damn! Where'd that brat go? I'm pretty sure she ran south. She takes us for fools, huh? Wanna die? Move it, old hag! <sighs> hey there. You alright? Yes. Thank you, young man. Looks like trouble. I always seem to find it. Too much energy on this. I owe you my life, young man. I just did what anyone would have done. Don't be silly. You were very brave. Now how to thank you? Oh, I know. I'll give you this. It's a local favorite. A mint tea that can quench even the strongest thirst. Well, if you insist, thank you. Say, do you mind if I ask you something? I'm a mercenary drifter, and I'm between jobs. Any idea where I can look for work around here? Well, if you're looking for mercenary work, why don't you try the bar up ahead to the left? Will do. I appreciate the advice. Best bet for finding a job here. If thugs like those guys are common in this town, then I'm sure someone will be looking to hire. Miss me. And right now, I'll take any job. Nothing for it but to do what I can. Yeah.
Excuse me. I'm looking for a... I'd like to hire one of the cell swords here. Listen here, kid. This is no place for children and their games. Are you trying to make a serious request? Of course. And I've got money, too. Hey, I'm a sellsword. Hire me. Hold on. I've never seen this guy around here before. If you're really paying that much, I wouldn't recommend a stranger. Yeah, I think I'll hire him anyway. Well, if things go south, don't come crying to me. Thank you. Jab's yours. Right. Can you start now? No problem. Very good. Then let's head to the West Gate. So, what exactly is this job? You're gonna be my bodyguard. You'll escort me from here to Sylvaer, on foot. You wanna walk across the desert? Risky plan. It is, which is why I've hired you. Honestly, I'm not even safe in this town on my own. True. This seems like a surprisingly dangerous place. Merchant towns like this attract all sorts. Especially deceitful and conniving sorts. Hold on. It's those guys. Hey there, miss. You got a sec? I'm Bordeaux. These are my partners, Junwa and Dem. We're Wasbald's strongest, here to protect you. No, thank you. Come on, don't be like that. You'd be better off with us than that boy. I said no. You shouldn't spit in the face of kindness. We adults need to teach this brat some manners. What you think, men? Should we teach him? Yeah, and we've got to make these two pay the tourist tax. Looks like it's time to start earning your keep. What is wrong with this place? Alright guys, let's make an example out of them. Get ready for the beating of your life, pretty boy. You are not gonna be half as pretty when we're done with you. I'll back you up. No, stay back. You just want me to stand here hoping you manage to win? That would make things a lot easier, yeah. Perfect. Not happening. I can hold my own. Trust me. Hey, what kind of weapons are those? Sheesh, nothing's normal about you or this town. done. Normally the bodyguard handles all the fighting. Don't worry about it. I'm not normal. I'm a genius. I don't think you really understand. Rest assured, I won't miss a shot. That may be true, but still, I'd rather you didn't fight. My aim is pure genius. You need me backing you up. Admit it and let me support you. All right.
By the way, kid. It's Liddy. What? Liddy Delacroix. That's my name. All right. What's yours? Ed. What's your last name? Don't have one. I haven't got any family. I see. Anyway, kid. Liddy. Liddy. I need you to stay close so I can protect you. I'll do what I can. Do you understand what a bodyguard does? It's easy to stumble as you climb these dunes. Just focus on moving forward. Mm. And stay away from any sand pits. There are powerful beasts inside them. Okay. take out all that money in the bar anyway. Did you not know what kind of attention that would attract? The attention of low life and stuff. I knew. Well, if you knew, then you shouldn't have done it. It also got me you. And you weren't with them, anyway. Well, no. But... Were you worried about me? Not really. Hmm. Last resort. Miss me. Say so. Do you travel on foot often, Ed? Yeah. How far would you say you've traveled? About as much as any other mercenary. Hmm. You walk to Wasbald too? Of course. Ever think about just buying a train ticket? No, I don't have that kind of money. So what, you're struggling for money? I just have to work hard every day to make ends meet. That is the definition of struggle. For someone who has as much money as you do, I'm sure it looks that way. Still, if you weren't strapped for cash, I couldn't have hired you. So, it's lucky that you're broke. That's one way to put it.
What's wrong? Oh, it's just a rock. Hey, could you not chase after rocks? What if it was valuable? You never know if something might be. It doesn't matter. Who the heck runs from their bodyguard? From now on, stay right behind me. Or something like this will happen. Here they come! on fighting, I won't stop you. But you can't go off on your own anymore. I'll try my best. You do that. One question. What is it? Why aren't you traveling by train? Are you hoping to find something valuable out here? Not really. <laughs> That stone back here just happened to catch my eye. It was shiny, so I thought it might be rare. Is there something else you're looking for in the desert? No. Forget it. Then why didn't you use some of that money to take a train instead of walking like this? Because my father has his men on the trains. Your father? <laughs> Wait. Tell me you're a runaway. Technically, that might be somewhat accurate. <laughs> hey, I'm on my way. It's fine. Don't give me that. Miss me. Going back. No. I'm your employer, and I say we're not going back. I didn't sign up for this. You need to go back to your family. There are many types of families, you know. Sometimes running away is the only option. You might not understand this, but I can't go back. Still, 
I'm not sure I should be helping you. If you want to go, then go. I can handle the desert alone. But if you do leave, I won't be paying you. Come on. You'll also be leaving me to fend for myself. Against men like the ones we met in Wasbob. And against beasts, of course. They get hungry out there. Okay, fine. I'll see the job through, all right? But why run from home? Straight into a desert. Like I said, the runaway thing is only somewhat accurate. There's something I have to find out for myself. So I broke free from my father and left home. Pretty sure any normal person would have done the same. We'll have to agree to disagree on that last point. Anyway, kid. Liddy. <sighs> my name is Liddy, and you should use it. Fine, fine. Liddy. Happy now? Mm-hmm. Your weapon. Is that a reactor? It is. Why are you using an Imperial weapon? This isn't from the Empire. I made it myself. What? Well, I'm a genius. But even the Federation's been struggling to match that tech. You can't comprehend how brilliant I am. Just make sure the Federation doesn't see it, alright? Don't worry. Their soldiers won't notice a thing. I wish I could believe that. You're actually pretty strong, Ned. Suppose so. But you don't use a Federation embryo. Or one of the Empire's reactors. What's the secret behind your strength? Who knows? Could be all my years of experience as a mercenary. A mercenary, eh? What? So, are we close to Earl Heart Village yet? What? Of course not. We're still only halfway there. Uh, only halfway? Take a break here. I don't need a break. It's my job to keep you healthy. No, your job is to keep me from getting injured. Well, if you get exhausted and pass out, that'll be harder to do. Not bad, Ed. That's a solid pretense. It's not a pretense. You hired me for this. I get it. I appreciate your worrying about me, Ed. I'll get some rest. That's all I ask. Just keep on resting. I'll handle this. This kid's a real pain in the neck. I can't just abandon her out here. It's over. Still. Doesn't mean I'm worried about her. I just in it for the money. This is it. This is it. This is it. Not yet. Okay? I'm fine. And they're dealt with. Nice 
work. Right. Well, we've rested now, 